see a lot of uh, cloud swords, a lot of parries Above, on over both the head. sides. Yep, yep. Yep. And like the double broadsword, there can be uh, jumps if they decide yeah. to put any. We may see some balances as well. So both swords in the left hand, sword finger in the right, and that will of course change as both swords there you go. Well, that is a different dynamic immediately. I can see the immediately how productive a cloud sword would be with two blades. Right. Front aerial. Oh, well, that's a pretty big fall. That would be two hands down. Is there a body fall? 0.3 deduction. Oh, those, that was the uppercut there. I'm sure we'll see those downward circular parries from both hands. There you go. Tracing some nice lines with those swords. In terms of body movement, posture. Yep. They are required to be a little more flexible, um, just to move, to maneuver their swords. You'll see a lot of waist and shoulder movements. So Cho Man So, that unfortunate fall in the middle of her routine. That's going to cost her. Started well. There's that front aerial. Yeah, it was just a slip from that front foot, that leading foot. Too much of her weight was on the back, and it just couldn't. 8.72 is how we open the scoring here.